what's up guys here's Claudio from visual model wordpress themes and in today's video i'm gonna teach you how to import pre-built layouts pre-built templates pre-built website pages, or pre-built blocks and widgets using elementor wordpress plugin for free but before i can continue please take a moment to hit the subscribe button like this video and share this content with a friend of yours you have no idea how much it helps us because you bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations, and many, many more topics in our choose internet and our site's favor. So, we have a playlist on our Visual Moto YouTube channel explaining how to install, how to set up, how to change elements, how to fix issues of Elementor WordPress plugin. But how to start doing your pages from scratch? First of all, go to WordPress dashboard, review the left sidebar of menus, and hover mouse over page and click on add new page. Remember, I'm assuming that you already have Elementor plugin installed for free. It's easy, but if you don't know how to do this, just type Elementor Visual Moto on YouTube search and you're gonna learn how to do this. So click on add new page, click on edit with Elementor. We're gonna be loading the Elementor editor and it gives you this page. It's not funny, right? There is a couple of widgets and blocks right here from the left side bar menus and an empty page right here. How to start? We're gonna click into this folder icon called Add Template, okay? After this, we can choose blocks, pages, or we can save some templates to use later, okay? For example, saving a page as a template to reutilize this page, okay? I would like to import a pre-built page maybe this one right here okay i'm gonna click on insert and the elementor gonna ask me to connect to templates library access the test template and our entire library by creating a free personal account so click on get started you're gonna be redirected to the elementor website and you can sign in with google facebook apple or sign in with your email okay new to Elementor, we're gonna create an account. Let's create your Elementor account. Create with Google, Facebook or Apple, we're gonna create with Google, okay? But choose the best option for the account has been created, I have connected with Templates Library, it's simple and easy. In my case, the Google sign up did not work, so I have to sign with my email and set a password. And after this, I have a button to connect with Templates Library. You can mark or un unmark a simple option to be a super contributor and share your data. I did not make that, but it's up to you. And now, all I have to do is go back to WordPress and you're going to be able to see this option right here. I'm going to apply. I will not cut the video so you can see the time that it takes, okay, to create a page. And you can have an idea of how does it work. And as you can see, now I have a pre-built page that works really, really well on Elementor and is set. And there is options right here to customize. Right here you can, for example, apply your logo type. Right here you can apply some menu of pages, okay? You can customize it in the way that you want. But what else we can do? Imagine that this page isn't enough for you. We can still click into this folder icon to add templates, okay? And right here, we can apply more entire pages. There is pro pages, okay? So we're only gonna be able to import the, this page, for example, if you're a pro user. Once I want to keep all for free, I'm gonna choose for the ones that I can insert, okay? After this, what else I can do? I can go to blocks. And right here, I can import a piece of a page, okay? A um, small piece of a page. For example, this one right here looks awesome. So I'm gonna click on insert. And here is the result I got. I got a piece of a page into my Elementor. And this piece is fully customizable, okay? You can make it full widget. We can change the content. We can apply some headings right here in the case that we want. We can change this option. We can change the image into the column background in the case that we want. There is a couple of things to customize right here in the case that you want, okay? And what else we can do? Imagine the following scenario. I did love this page and I'm gonna use it again into another layout can you see next to the publish button this little pink button into the bottom 
left corner of my page, there is an eye icon, the publish and this little arrow moving to top. Click on it and you're gonna see these two options, save draft and save as template. I'm gonna save as template. I'm gonna apply this template, a name, okay, gonna be my page one. Save. And now if I go to this folder icon, let me close it to show you. If I go once again, if I open a new page layout to customize it from scratch and click on add template. Now I have page, I have blocks. And if I go to my templates, I'm going to be able to see my page one. It's a page has created by me. He is the date and the action is preview or insert it on my page. If I no longer need, so need to have need for it, I can click into the street points and export or delete, okay? And it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to check out the borderless plugin from Visual Moto to gain more widgets, elements, templates, and tools to build up your site. Or Enzu WordPress team, the best free WordPress team that you can install to customize your site in the way that you want. Or growth.net platform, a place where you can submit your blog for receiving and publishing guest posts. Or size.gallery, that is a place where you can promote your site for free. Submit new sites and many, many more things. Or visualmoto.com, that is a place where you can purchase the Visual Moto Pass and unlock full access to our entire templates library with hundreds of pre-built websites that you can import with a single click. In addition with premium icons, assets, blocks, tools, plugins, templates, and many, many more features. And it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best.